Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about something that I think comes up often, but I don't hear people talk about very much, and that is consent in conversations. People talk about consent a lot when it comes to sex, but I very rarely heard people talk about consent when it comes to speaking to other people. And I think it's actually really useful to apply the idea of consent to casual spoken conversations. Have you ever had the experience where you're with someone and they're just talking on and on, they're not shutting up, and like you're not even listening to them, you don't want them to keep talking, but they're just talking at you? It feels pretty unpleasant when people do this to me. And I have to own up to this, when I was younger especially, but I still struggle with this a little bit, I used to do that a lot. I was pretty socially awkward as a kid, and sometimes I would get enthusiastic about things, and I would be going on and on about stuff. And I think I irritated people a lot. Now that I'm older, and I'm a little bit better at relating to people, I don't think I do that as much, but I think it's useful to remind myself of that. So the first thing I want to say, uh, kind of work out your own stuff first. If you're thinking about consent in conversations, and you want to have more consensual conversations, start with yourself. Start by saying, okay, I want to check in with people to see if they're really listening to me, if they really want me to keep talking, and I want to give them space in the conversation to comfortably interject other things, or change the subject, or share their own viewpoints, like I don't want to overwhelm them with just a wall of speech. So being mindful of that is really good. But I want to talk about this in a little bit of a deeper sense, because I think that the idea of consent in conversations, just like with sex, often gets wrapped up in other sort of power struggles or power relationships. Like I've noticed that a lot of the time, it's not always true, but I've noticed that there seems to be a greater tendency for people who are significantly older than me to kind of ramble in this non-consensual way. And I think that there are some social norms in our society of like, like respecting your elders, where we have this idea that interrupting someone is disrespectful, I don't fully agree with that idea, I want to challenge it, as I'll explain later, but we have that idea, and I think that that can lead younger people to let older people kind of just force speech on them in this non-consensual way. I've also seen it happen when there's like a formal power relationship. One example where I see this play out a lot is in college professors. I don't know if there's like a greater tendency of college professors to be socially awkward in this way, but I've noticed that I've had this problem a lot with professors, and I've seen it with professors talking to other people. Some of them just go on and on, and I'm not talking about like in a lecture setting, I'm talking about when you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the professor, like if you go to office hours, or if there's a small group of people talking to the professor. I think there are times when it's a good thing for the professor be, to be talking, like sometimes I want a professor to explain something to me, but I think consent is important. If I don't want them to be talking, then I want them to shut up. Maybe I'm not listening to them because they lost me. Uh, and if they lose me, I want to stop, I want to explain how they lost me. If they're going off topic, I want to explain that. And I've been in this situation where I felt like steamrolled by these professors, it can get kind of unpleasant, and I've noticed that some of them can kind of fail to read what I think of as normal social cues that even some of my more socially awkward friends seem to read relatively easily. It kind of blows my mind how bad this can get with some professors. So what do you do in these situations? This is something I'm not necessarily great at, but I really think that it is good to interrupt the people. And the times that I have interrupted the people, even if it seemed difficult to do, it has usually gone pretty well. And why? Because when I interrupt people, it's usually because I'm not listening to them. And I think on some level, most people don't want to keep talking if someone isn't listening to them. I think a lot of times they just don't know. They're not really paying attention to it. Like, I know myself, if I'm going on and on and on, and it's really awkward, 
I'd say like 99% of the time, probably 100% of the time, it's because I don't realize that people are not wanting me to keep talking or I don't realize that they're not listening to me. The minute I realize that, it's like BAM, I want to stop talking. I want to get back on like a sort of the same page with the people, I want them to talk, I want them to clarify something or say, hey, I lost you at this point or whatever it is they want to say. So that's my advice throwing out there. Uh, yes, it's breaking some social norms about respect, uh, but I think that if you are respectful about how you interrupt people and if you kind of like steer things back to the point, most of the time it'll go over well. I have still had some pretty awkward experiences. There was a professor at the University of Delaware where I pretty much gave up interacting with this man on the level of normal human interaction. And it was a very unpleasant experience and from my perspective I was like, why is this guy even employed if he can't communicate on a normal human level? But I thought, like at least in my experience, he didn't seem to be able to, so I dropped the class. So basically my advice is this. First, examine your own speech. Try to check for people on an ongoing basis that you're not talking on and on. But when other people are doing it to you, interrupt them. Like, and interrupt them sooner rather than later. The minute you're not listening, like BAM, jump in and be like, hey, I lost you, or hey, like this is getting off topic, can we go back to this thing, or like, hey, I didn't understand what you said, like whatever it is that caused you to lose your, you know, your attention. And if it's really an unequal conversation, be like, hey, I think you're talking a lot, I want to share my viewpoint. If they're not willing to interact with you in a more equal way, why are you talking to them? And if it's a power relationship where you feel like you have to listen to them, why are you in that relationship? Why are you in the class? Why don't you drop the class? Why are you in that job? Like, do you have self-respect? Can you look for a better job maybe? Maybe that's something to think about. Not saying to just quit your job right off the bat if you have that kind of relationship with your boss, but like, I think it's worth it in life to be assertive and to put yourself in situations where the people around you respect you. I've had a lot of jobs over the years and most of the time my boss has respected me and I feel like there's not really all that many situations out there that are just egregiously horrible beyond being fixed. So I've had better luck with this in life of like actually interrupting people in a respectful way and the few times when it just really doesn't work, when it really goes to shit or just sort of like feels like you're banging your head against the wall, get out of those situations. That's what I have to say. I'd love to hear from you if you have anything else to share, any experiences, any advice about how to do this, uh, please comment. And as always, I love when people share my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.